but inside the Revit environment, it allows you to import a number of different types of files by linking them in. So you can link in a Revit file, IFC, link in a CAD file, topography, DWF markups, decal images for placing on surfaces, point cloud files such as RCP, RCS, and Recap Pro, coordination models from Navisworks, NWD, and NWC, and then you've got a Manage Links dialog which allows you to manage any sort of imported files. So here I am within my Revit project. This is my main Revit building. You can see I can select individual elements of the floor uh, or topography and I can select the facade and the wall of that particular project. These other elements that I have imported here are actually imported or linked files. So to link in a file, say you start off in your architecture tab, go to your insert tab, under the link status. If you want to link in a Revit, click on Revit. So for example, link Revit. Navigate to your particular file, select which file you want to import, click open and then it will link into the particular location or if you've, you've the coordinate system set up. So this particular one has been linked in as a Revit file, you can see direct shape imports, the title of that file is a .orgt, so it's an external file. This one as well is also an external file and no items are, are, are selectable within that or you can't edit it from within here either. The same goes for this particular CAD file, a 2D CAD file. Uh, you can see it's a site file.dwg and all of this is intelligent information so if i want to for example navigate to my top view of this particular 3d view and say i wanted to look at these building layouts maybe go to my architecture tab i wanted to trace over them looking maybe placing some walls click that particular wall uh, construction wall exterior i can go to my pick lines or even draw lines uh, pick lines and it will intelligently pick up on those particular lines just to see how you're able to trace over and that it is actually intelligent information as well uh, it's not just static information i can also control the layers within this drawing as well hit query select okay what layer is that this one's the deck layer i might want to hide all of the deck layers within that particular view uh, and you can see it's turned off all the deck layers on all those buildings as well so you can completely control every single layer in there if i go into my manage links tab manage go to manage links this will allow me to see what's been imported. So you can see this particular building model has been imported, which is this small one here. I've got Gale School Architecture, which is a larger project here. And also if I have IFCs imported, it will show them in this dialog, CAD formats, etc. I've got site file here, and I can unload that, for example, or I can completely remove it. So if I unload it, it's just going to turn it off. Click OK, unload. Click OK, it turns it off. You can see it's still retained the particular external walls of that particular building that I traced over. And they're within the Revit project as well. They haven't disappeared whatsoever with the CAD file. So this is within my 3D view. So we can see the link files in different, uh, different angles if we want. You can see it's placed on the ground there. Uh, and the same goes for this particular one as well. So these are uh, uh, editable within the external files. If you were to open this galeschoolarchitecture.org file, then obviously you can, you can manage that from in there. And you can also bind it, uh, which is similar to the way Xrest might work out. Thank you.